in a pretty dominant performance from Alicia Bumgarner to retain her undisputed title. She did her thing against Christina Lenarda too. But before we get into that, we are all takes, no whiffs. I'm Christian. That's Alex. And Alicia Bumgarner avenging her only loss. You know, honestly, the difference in that first fight and now it's just night and day. And that was pretty crazy. But what do you think about it, Alex? Oh, I just honestly love seeing Bob Gardner come in there and avenge her only lost. Uh, Christina Lenadarto, she did bring it to Alicia Bob Gardner for this, but like I said in our preview, she established that jab early and kind of just could, took control of that fight with that jab. But even though this was a pretty dominant fight from Bob Gardner, there were a lot of really good exchange during this fight. I know in like the fifth round, there was one really good one. There was one in the fourth one too. But Christian, what did you think of the fight? Honestly, I loved how Bob Gardner looked. She, as I've said before with her, Honestly, she exceeded how I thought about it before. Sharp. The punches, she's got solid power for sure, but like they come in super quick, and I think it's just a major speed difference with her and her opponents. Quick and effective. Uh, like precise you said, there is precise, exactly. And like you said, there was like a lot of good exchanges with Lenarda too, who definitely did some of her she had some moments herself, but I think Bumgarner definitely was clear cut the better looking boxer for sure. And yeah, honestly, I have really no complaints about the score scorecards. Like they're a little. I don't wide. think it was a sweep. I don't think it was a sweep, though. To be no, honest, no, no, I don't think it was. But yeah, just the fact that they're varying. I guess you know, some people got their own opinions. You know, as long as there was no crazy robberies, I'm cool with it. That didn't happen in this card, which is great. But honestly, as far as what is next for Alicia Bumgarner, though, I really feel like she's got a lot of options. What do you think? Uh, well, after the fight, she called out every big name you could think possible around that uh, division in the one above. So uh, she called out, I think it was Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, and I, I think it was Chantel Cameron, I think was the third one I can remember right now. So honestly, any of those fights would be so hyped, to be honest. So I'm down for any of those three girls. 100% agreed. Honestly, I just want to see big names match up with mm -hmm. each other because uh, when in boxing in general, when the big names match up, you already know it's going to be a banger. So I'm looking forward for that for Alicia Bumgarner. But somebody else I want to mention real quick on this undercard, Andy Cruz with his pro debut. I, I'm a big fan of Andy Cruz. I just really like his style in the ring. And he I looked liked, good. He looked good. And I, I liked how he translated from amateur to pro because I, I still think he's in the process. Power wasn't necessarily like it wasn't a strong suit in there at all. It was. It's it, coming. It's coming. It's just it's a matter of getting used to the pros, I guess. And I think he needs to get tested himself. He needs to get hit hard himself. So maybe he needs to dish it back. That's maybe how it needs to go. But I really like what I saw from him. So Keyshawn Davis, watch out. Oh, yeah. Keyshawn Davis definitely needs to watch out because Andy Cruz and him have met a couple of time in the amateurs and it didn't really go his way. But since he's been in uh, the pros, Keyshawn Davis has looked really good and he'll be on the cambosis undercard this week and so make sure y'all watch that we'll also be previewing that later on this week so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see our preview for that also if you want to see more of our coverage of any of these boxers especially alicia bumgarner because you know we're going to be covering her it's one of christian's favorite boxers <laughs> yeah she's cool no, I'm fine. No, she's, she's definitely a really good boxer. One of the big names in the women's division. And if you guys want, let us know your thoughts in the comments below what you want to see next for Alicia Bumgarner because she's a big name herself. She wants the other big names. So, But I want to see what y'all got to say before I get into that. Until then, though, peace. Peace.